Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Desserts Pot. In this tutorial, we will be hiding a gift in our cake using the innovative popping stand by our sponsors for this video, Surprise Cake. I've used an eight inch cake for this project and I'm filling in with my regular hybrid buttercream frosting. You can find this recipe in the description box or in the eye icon above. Flatten out your frosting and then add on your cake layers. I have used Bakehouse White Chocolate Mud Cake for this tutorial and I usually use the Bakehouse stuff in most of my baking. Create a crumb coat to trap in any of the crumbs and because this will be a buttercream finished cake you might want to make your crumb coat a little bit thicker than usual. Clean up the sides, bring that lip of frosting into the center with your spatula or with your scraper. I don't often do it with my scraper but when I do it's kind of fun, you get these really even um, straight lines. Into the fridge she goes for at least 20 minutes to set. I'd like to say thank you to Surprise Cake for sponsoring this video. We'll be using their popping cake stand. I won't go into a great lot of detail on how to assemble it as there's a detailed tutorial which I will link to that can show you how. The stand is available in the US and they also have distributors in Australia, Europe and England linked below for you guys. It is totally reusable and can last you many years to come. You could use either a store-bought cake or your own cake for this as long as it is between 6 and 10 inches in diameter and no um, taller than 6 inches. You don't have to use a music box like I am here. Uh, you can just pull that trigger instead and make sure that the lid is over your music box. Inside you can fit an iPhone 10. you could use it as a gender reveal, you could have money in there, movie tickets, anything that can fit into the cavity. They also do cupcake stands so you can use this stand as a cupcake stand by adding in um, multiple plates. There are also two toppers available with the stand. Everything will be linked in the description box below. Here I'm using the cake cora to remove the center of the cake so that the stand can pop out of the middle. Do not throw out this cake, you can totally use it to serve at the party or it does make an effortless and gorgeous naked cake. With a little bit of buttercream, stick your cake to the plate and I've pre-cut the whole off of the plate so I can see where it lines up in the center. You can see there's a center on that little plate there. Flip it over and then decorate as usual. You do not want to assemble your cake stand and then decorate your cake. If you spin it, if you move it, risk the whole thing coming apart. So just decorate beforehand as much as you can and then add it to your cake stand. I'm decorating with some blue, yellow and purple buttercream, creating little dollops with the piping bag and then swiping up and diagonally. I repeated this whole process all around my cake. A quick tip here, if you'd like really, really smooth swooshes of your spatula, dip your spatula into really hot water, let it be nice and hot going in, and it'll smooth out your buttercream. I've cleaned off my spatula each time I go in. With the remaining buttercream, pop it into a piping bag with a 32 piping tip and create a border all around the top edge of your cake. I'm going to be filling in the center with some sprinkles. So our cake is decorated, I'm loading it onto our stand. There are little black um, screws underneath the cake plate. Tighten those to make sure that the cake doesn't come sliding down. Also notice that I have lined my cake perfectly with the very top of my little gift pop section. The gift is already loaded and it is securely in there and ready to pop. Hide everything with some sprinkles and make sure the cake comes back to room temperature before you trigger it to pop, otherwise a cold frosting acts like glue and stops it from popping. Now that a cake is ready, I'm gonna turn the dial. Notice the music box has that pin, it has to have that pin secured and the cover on top of the music box. And voila! That easy. It is such a cool little thing. I was so excited to do this video. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You can take your gift directly off there and just serve your cake. I would recommend taking your, um, after you finish opening your gifts, taking your cake off the stand before you start cutting, just to make sure that the knife doesn't scratch your awesome stand. And you're done. Thank you again for Surprise Cake for sponsoring. Link to where you can find this will be in the description box below. If you guys do recreate this, please tag us hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot and tag Surprise Cake as well at hashtag Surprise Cake so we can see your awesome creations as well. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next week.